Hey, 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 we are live. We're going to be working with the In Bloom set tonight. Y'all, I got the stamps and the dies. Oh, hey, Gloria. Hey, Teresa. We're working with these tonight. Yay. So I'm going to go on down to the desktop and show y'all what's up. So good to see everybody. Okay, y'all. So we're going down here to make a card. Y'all, guess what? I have no plan. Oh, hey, Dana. I have no plan tonight. We are going rogue on this card. So, y'all, I didn't have these stamps, but I had these dies because I thought, I just need the dies. But no, no. I needed these before they expired. However, they're not really expiring because they are in the current annual catalog right here, okay? But the bundle price, which is 10% off, um, is what expired, or rather retired, okay? So um, Dana has this set. Yes, oh, you're going to love it, Dana. This was before I got the stamps, and I just, I don't, even, I don't even remember where this came from, but I just used the dies. I mean, y'all, I made this for y'all one day. And I love this card so much. It is so much fun. Okay. But y'all, I got some big news. First of all, I have some troubling news. Um, I know last week I shared that my daughter announced they are expecting a new baby. And uh, we're, we're not expecting the baby anymore. Um, she had a miscarriage. She's kind of in the process now over a period of two or three days. But y'all. We are a family of faith, and we are a family who's been through it. You know, her youngest has had cancer. She had cancer for many years, and she's in remission. She's six years old now. And, y'all, we are a family of faith, so we know that God's will will be done, and we accept his will. Um, that's the troubling news, okay? And we're not, gonna, we're not camping out there tonight because we believe that God has a better plan, Okay. Um, but do do be just say a little prayer for Auburn. Um, Auburn Michelle is her name, and um, you know we probably announced it too soon. But anyway, it's okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you, y'all. Hey, Greg. Woo woo. Okay, um, y'all. I gotta show you my nails tonight. First of all, this is Dollar Tree blue, which y'all know I'm I'm not that girl, but it's Le Couleur again. Um, thank you, Lisa. Um, so the Dollar Tree and then the Color Street Puppy Dogs and Kitty Cats. And, and I mean, I don't know why I, at my age somebody would wear this, but you know, here, here it is, right? Okay. But I love it. Um, okay. So this is in the new catalog. It is page 30 and y'all, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, the doctor said it, it could go up to three days, and I think that's the worst part, you know, um, same thing happened to me, but it was over, as just boom, uh, years and years ago, of course, um, okay, so we, and I thank you all for your prayers for her, thank you, thank you, she's doing well, she's, um, she's accepted, and, um, oh, hey, Nyoka, um, yeah, so we're gonna make a card tonight, and y'all, I'm going to create our own designer series paper, y'all. Y'all know this is one of the things I love to do. I'm grabbing a card base right here. Okay. I've already folded, cut and folded these basic white thick cardstock. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm not cutting it down um, to fit. I'm just going to make the background. Okay. I hadn't even thought about what colors I want. Look, I haven't even used them, y'all. I have not even used them. So these are photopolymer. And let me show y'all how I do this, okay? The new photopolymer stamps come with this, this whatever, guide to put your stamps. Well, I like to see my stamps on the back because sometimes, I don't know, it's just easier for me to recognize them in the very back. So... I usually take this little thing out and I put it like this in my trimmer, okay? 
and we're going to go like that and zoom and boom okay zoom and boom and then i will put them back just going to go come on now going to go like this i'm going to put this guy back in first he's got the little um the little end piece there then i'm going to put this here because when i go to to put my stamps back up well i got to move it over just a little bit when I go to put my stamps in, I'm going to put them in on this side so I can see them on this side. Okay. All right. So there we go. All right. I've got the spine with the identification on it, the front. Then I'll have the stamps here and I'll be able to see it. If it's laying like this, I'll be able to see what's in there. Okay. So that's with a brand new set of stamps. I do that. And this is the Simply Chamois, which y'all know, y'all know, it's just going to look like this, y'all, but it's okay. It comes, when you first buy it, it's this pretty purple color, okay? But after you've used it for a while, it's just got all the inks in it. Now, I'm cleaning the entire set here, the entire set, because there's a little bit of something-something on it from manufacturing. I don't know what it is. I don't. But y'all, we it's so easy to get off. You just do this. And you can do the whole sheet or the whole two sheets or whatever you got. Okay, so that just kind of gets that conditioning off of whatever was on it. Okay. Am I using the paper towel I had at dinner? Mm -hmm, I am. But <laughs> it's the one I picked up, y'all. Okay. Whew. All right, so... Wouldn't it be fun to just stamp that? But that, we're not going to do that. We're not. Um, let me look in the book again. We're going to look in here and see what I expect. See, we're going to do like a light stamp and then a darker stamp in the middle. And on the leaves, a light with a dark. Okay? All right. So, this is our light. And let's see. Um, We could do... I think I'm going to do this one for the dark. And then the leaf. We got two leaves on here. We can use them both, y'all. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show y'all something really cool. Really cool. All right, so we're also going to take this one. Oh, Marilyn. Okay, so y'all, I did a... I did a... um vendor event you know i talked about that on saturday and i'll tell you it it was not well attended number one and it was not um i can't decide how i want to do that. i'll probably mess up if i try all that um it was not well attended so it was kind of a bust however i found a lot of ladies that were interested in stamping up and I definitely got to see some sweet friends. Teresa and her husband, Greg, came by. And a um, bunch of old folks that I knew when we first lived here back in the day. And, um, yeah, so we, you know, we got to do that. And I, and I did get good connections on people who were interested. And I'll be following up with them. So that, you know, it was worth the day for that. Oh, hey, Barbara. <laughs> Hadn't seen you in a while, girl. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And so other than that, it was okay. It was okay. Y'all, I have some paper pumpkin blocks here because, and this is not the box, the bag it came in. They actually come in these little bags, and I, I bought a few of them. But I'm going to use one tonight. Uh-oh. I'm going to use one tonight. For, let's see what I want to use it for. This. Hmm. I better wait on those two. I'll put them right here. Okay. My John 316 can hold them. Okay. So let me grab some inks. Because y'all know I'm just now figuring out what I want to do. Right? Let's see. They have the dark ink on the top of the flower. Okay. And then... And I don't usually do this, y'all. Like, I plan. I plan, plan, plan. But not today. Not today. I've just been kind of winging it. I've literally been in meetings. <laughs> Barbara, I know I barely recognize you, right? I've been in meetings today, y'all. Um, 
uh, I had a I had a Stampin' Up! event meeting, and then I had my little um, Zoom meeting with my friends, and that was fun. Okay, so here's what we're looking at, okay? When you stamp it the first time, oh, hey, Courtney. When you stamp it the first, and I got some news to tell y'all, too. You stamp it the first time, you get a darker image, and then the second time is light. Well, we want to we wanna stamp off is what that is called. And then when we stamp on, we're going to have the lighter pink. This this makes me so happy. It reminds me of the 70s, the flower power stuff that was so cute. And um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to be making a mess. We're going to stamp off over here. Um, okay, so y'all, Marilyn, what you have left you could give us Christmas, right? Yes, I have a lot of cards left, girl. Um... So, okay, okay, y'all know I do Dollar Tree crafting, right? And I do love it. I do. It's so much fun. Well, and, and what we're doing here, I'm just making our background paper, okay? Um, the Dollar Tree crafting uh, group, the people, I mean, it's, it's quite a thing out there, okay? Like, people are really into this. And, y'all, I've been asked to be a guest crafter. And it is a closed group that I'll be crafting in, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, it's a big deal. And I am planning, if there's enough time, I am planning to share some card making too. And um, hopefully, hopefully that will happen. And I'm going to upload the video after I do it. I'm planning on using this um, software that I use here. And I want to upload the video to um, YouTube and all the things. Okay, so y'all y'all will get to see it once I get it on YouTube and share it here. Okay, so that, that's messy. But you see, um, Courtney, how do we get in the group? Thank you, Courtney. Um, I will, um, okay, it, it's called Crafting, without a G, Crafting and Laughing. Are you Teresa? That's awesome. Um, crafting and laughing with Lizzie and Aaron. They only open the group up at the end of the month. And, um, and I mean, it's, it's a hoot. It is a hoot. So I'm going to be their one of their guest crafters and my, my slot is tomorrow at 6 PM. But like I said, I'm going to use this software so I'll be able to share it after. And I think it's going to be fun, y'all. Oh, Nyoka, you watch Lizzie and Aaron. Okay, well, you know you know the deal, girl. You know the deal. Let's see if we want to do this. And Yes, we do. Okay, so this is Mango Melody. And what I just used was Melon Mambo. So we're in the M's tonight. Mango Melody. Okay, stamping off, stamping on. Stamping off. Oh, let's see. Oh, why not? Just go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, remind us at the end of the month. I'll do that, Gloria. I sure will. It's $20 a month to be in that group. And it's, um, it, I just, y'all, it's just wonderful. I just love it. I love, um, them. I, I love, well, it's now just Aaron. Um, Lizzie had to step aside for a little while. Well, I think for for a long while, but anyway, she had she had some things she needed to take care of in her life. So, um, yes, Courtney, thank you. It does have a fun '70s vibe, doesn't it? It's fun. It's fun. Okay, we need a little a little center for these guys, and I think I want a big center for them. Let's see. Let's see if I like this. I think I do. Oh. That's going to be really big. Hold on. Please hold. We'll use a, a smaller big one, right? All right, we're going to take this guy off of here, make sure he's clean, and he is, and put him back over here. And, y'all, your photopolymer stamps, they're always going to stain, okay? I, I don't, I've never done an experiment to see what color stains them, but I can tell you the pinks definitely stain. Uh, and we'll know in a second if these yellows do. All right, so we're going to see, yeah, I like that. Okay, 
we're just going to stamp right in the middle stamp right in the middle apparently my middle measurement isn't quite I'm, I'm off just a bit so I'm trying to get better here okay and boop if if you're my age or just within a few years of me you'll remember laughing from the 70s and I'll tell you what that was one of our favorite shows ever 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 all right I want to put some dots y'all we're going to grab some black. Like I said, y'all, we are winging this stuff. And here's the deal. I'm going to go into my um, papers, my cardstock over here, and I'm going to pull one of these colors out. I don't know which one. But I'm going to pull one of these colors out. Let's see if we want Calypso Coral in the middle of this. Let's see. Boop. Ah. Uh, hmm. No, I think I do want the black. Okay. We're going we're gonna to put Calypso back over here. We might use him for something else in a little bit. Let's see. And I do have my leaves to put on, but I'm not sure yet how I want to do those. Okay, so I'm going to put the... i got to get over it, y'all. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my, my finding the center is a... It's just a wee bit off. Just a wee bit. Just a wee... There we go. Boop. And boop. And uh Teresa, we need to get together and um and make that that thing for Greg. I want you to come over and make it. And we gotta get together soon because my calendar is filling up. We're trying to go on vacation, y'all. Oh, they look like buttercups. Too cute. Yes, they do, don't they? Um yeah, we're trying to go on vacation, but doesn't, it just doesn't seem to be working. Black-eyed Susie's. Yep. Um, here's the thing, y'all. Ninja Man and I used to camp. All right? When I say used to, I mean, we don't do that anymore. And um, I was just, oh, oh, this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love these colors. Um, So we, 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 we haven't been camping. We started out with a tent, okay? Um, Nyoka, when can we expect our catalog? Oh, girl. Oh, girl, let me tell you. Now, I'm in Georgia. Mine came today. I can't show you the inside yet, y'all. I can't. But mine came from Stampin' Up! And the ones that, the ones that I ordered for everybody... I haven't gotten that one yet because I included myself on that mailing. And um, I haven't gotten mine yet, but the one from corporate to their demonstrators came today. So I'm hoping within the next week, Nyoka. That's what I'm hoping. Um, okay, so we started camping in a tent, like most people, right? We went from a tent to a, I don't even know. I think it was like 38, 40 foot fifth wheel. Who does that, okay? Ninja Man, that's who does that. So um, we eventually sold it because we moved out here and our lives just did not accommodate that anymore because we were helping with our grandchild. Well, so we're trying to go on vacation and we're trying to save money so I have more money for stamping up, right? Isn't that what we do? Okay. So <laughs> we are trying to save money and we found out, y'all, not even kidding. And by the way, this is Granny Apple Green that I just used on the 70s Vibe card. Uh, Dana, you haven't gotten yours yet either. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. They Hopefully in the next in the next few days or week. Um, y'all, you can... Okay, first of all, you can rent an RV. We all know that, right? But there's like an Airbnb kind of rental, okay, where people will rent you their RVs. Who knew? I mean, I would never have rented mine out because it was a very uh, top-of-the-line kind of thing. And I, it made me nervous for us to drive it, right? Well, not we didn't drive it, but, I mean, we towed it. But I was always like, oh, my gosh. You know, if the least little thing happens, these things are so lightweight and so this, so that, it'd be a huge expense. So I would not have done that, but 
People do it. But here's the other thing. I don't want to drive somebody else's RV. Oh, Gloria got her catalogs last Thursday from corporate, right? Barbara, I know I want you to have yours. Um, but, y'all, I don't want to rent an RV, even if it, like, it's a Class C. Okay, so it's the smaller one that you drive. We're not towing anything again because my nerves can't take it. Okay? It's, I can't. So, here's the idea. We found somebody who has an RV in Orange Beach Gulf Shores, and we can get them to drive it over to the campground and set it all up. And we don't have to drive it. We don't have to tow it. We don't have to nairn but show up. And um, Teresa, we'll do. We'll do. Um, we'll talk about it and figure that out. Um, anyway, we, yeah, we... We wouldn't have to do anything with it, y'all. Just, just show up, and I'm telling you, that's kind of that's kind of like perfect, right? Now they allow dogs. We don't have to pay the hundred and fifty dollar non refundable deposit for mature dogs who have never done anything wrong in their entire lives. Well, maybe, yeah, Nyoka, and and the idea here is, if we find somebody that will rent their RV, drive it over to a local park to them, and set it up, well, boom, right? So that's kind of what we're looking at. And and it's it's a real thing. Like there's there's company, I mean not companies, there's individuals that do this just like an Airbnb, and they just set it all up for you. So I'm like, okay, okay. Um and we love the campground in um I'm trying to make all these fit, y'all. We love the campground over at um, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores. It's not far from us. I mean, you know, what is it, four hours, I think, maybe five now. So, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, Barbara, I, I wouldn't want to drive their RV because what if, what if it's not as well maintained as they say? There's not a whole lot worse, not a whole lot worse than standing on the side of the road with a broken down RV now, is there? In the summer, in July, in Florida or South Georgia, right? Um, I'm thinking I want I want just another little pop of color to fill in these tiny little things. So I'm thinking, y'all, I really like that though. That's so pretty. But I want to fill in because we're making our own designer series paper. Okay. Um, I think, I think, I think we're gonna use. No, that's the inside of that one. Hold on. Ooh, we could use this. It's a little bigger, but we're going to use it. Okay, I'm going to grab, um, let's see, we've got pink and yellow and green. Um, pink and yellow and green. Ooh, 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 no, we've already got, ooh, how about, how about gorgeous grape? This is a pretty color. I know, Angela, there's also Airbnbs for something else. I'm trying to remember what it is. It's something weird. Um, oh, oh, boats. Good heavens. Yes, boats. Okay, we're going to stamp off twice on this one. You see how dark? Dark, lighter, and lightest. Oh, y'all. Dark, lighter, and lightest. I am loving this. If you can just keep up with the one, two, three, right? One, two, three. I'm loving it. It's just it's just hard to remember the whole one, two, three thing. One, two, and three. Oh, this is fun. Um, yeah, so I mean we're like, well, we can we can go camping and just kind of arrive. Oh, blue, blue. Lisa, I should try blue. Um, we could arrive there and just everything set up. We don't have to do diddly. And I, I don't know about y'all, but I would be a happy camper with that. Okay, hold on. We got something going on here. Got to get it off. There we go. I don't even know what that was. It was a glob, as you can see there and there. Okay, so we'll try it again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Yeah, so the, the thing about it, this Gulf Beach 
or rather Gulf State Park on Orange Beach. That's where it is. And I think I do like it better where it's not as filled. So we're probably going to cut like that. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, if I can just back off and not fill it up. <laughs> that's the hard part. Make some nice walls, right? One, two, three. One, oops. <laughs> One, two. And we're going to go here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. Because I got it heavier here and then lighter over here. I think that's what we're going to do. All right. Um, yeah, so... When we camped there before, ironically, um, Nyoka, your comment. Let me look. Hold on. Oh, I hope y'all aren't going to the next week. Elsa's coming through, not Alabama, but I'm sure. Oh, oh, thank you, Nyoka. Yes, no, we're not going next week. As a matter of fact, uh, this park is so popular, we can't find a reservation in the very near in the very near future. We're having to probably go into September and I, I know that's hurricane season I don't know I don't know um all right come back over here now we are gonna see I got them in the different places but it's okay it's all right uh let's see new comment um Marilyn that's pretty thank you thank you okay um <laughs> I may not even be using this y'all I don't know because it's turning out kind of cute if I do say so myself all right, yeah, I'm going to show y'all real quick one more time. This mini catalog is starting on, uh, hang on, i got to look at the date. Please hold. Um, August, August 3rd. They're getting fancy, and they're starting to, they're starting to use dates like 3 August 2021. I don't even know. But they call it July to December, but it's really going to start in August. And this is a celebration it's also August 3rd, and I love the minty colors. Isn't that pretty? I love that color. Um, but you can get a little idea of what's going to be free. We might have some sheep right here. We might have some little florals. There might be some penguins in our future, y'all. Penguins. And over here, we have Christmas. Um, this is beautiful. We have some gold leaves. We have... Um, the little pine cones, and that's all I can show you. Um, that's all. Barbara says it's hurricane season now. I know, right, Elsa? I know. It's um, it's trying to, it's trying to hit down there, y'all. We sold our house, okay? We sold the house in um Savannah, and I I gotta tell y'all, I'm not I'm not sad only because. Um, we, we just aren't renters. I mean, we, we, I don't mean we're not renters. I mean, we're not land, land, darn, what's the word? Um, what is the word where you, you own the house and rent it out? Whatever it is, that's who we're not. Uh, we've never really done that before. And we had to do this kind of under duress. So I'm cutting this at three landlords. That's it. Landlords. Yes, Angela, the Christmas catalog. Yes. So I cut this. I'm cheating because I'm looking at my chart. I'll show you on my chart. Please hold. Boop. All right. I do use a bigger chart that I can glance at. Yes, Barbara. Thank you, landlords. Um, so y'all, three and a half. I came down here to three and a half, and my next sheet, my next cut is four and three quarters. So I want it to be four and three quarters long. But I'm going to cut it at five because I got some white space. Mm, you know what? I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut it like this and then turn this around for four and three quarters. Okay. Boop. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I love it. Uh, <laughs> no, we are not Fred and Ethel. I will tell you that right now. I did trim that down a bit more because I wanted to, y'all. Okay. I mean, we're not following any rules tonight. We're just going rogue. But look how pretty this will be. That might be on our envelope, y'all. Let's see what happens there. Because we, we don't have a plan. Okay. I had a plan, but I got a little excited over my Dollar Tree um, guest appearance tomorrow. And I'll be honest with you, I put tons of energy into that preparation. Okay, we're just going to flip this over because I'm getting a little confused. I don't know about y'all. Y'all, I love this. 
can I just bottle this and just, no, I don't even have to. I can just keep it and look at it, right? Um, okay, so we used Melon Mambo Gorgeous Grape. I'm getting us some paper over here. We have Melon Mambo right here, this pretty pink. Um, let's see what else we want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We used a little black. I always like a little bit of the black to pop out our accents, y'all. Okay, so we're doing, oh, look at this. That's going to be pretty, isn't it? I think so. I think we're going to like that. And then I think I want the gorgeous gray. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Come on now. Come on. Come on. There we go. We might want some gorgeous grape. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is use our card base right here. We're going to cut, come on now. We're going to cut the um, Melon Mambo down to the first layer, which is five and a quarter by four. Don't think I'm that smart, y'all. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Five and a quarter by four. Four. It was five and a quarter by four. Hey, hey, Michelle. Barbara, thank you. Love it with the thin black border. I do too. I do too. Okay, so we're going to put that like that. Um, Michelle, we are making our own designer series paper. It's something I love to do. All right, so that one's five and a quarter by four. The next uh, layer should be five by three and three quarters. But we're going to go just a little bit under. Uh, what did I say? Five and a quarter by four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's too small. Let me grab another piece. Let me grab another piece. Actually, actually, y'all, we could do this. All right, all right, all right. I am just going to use just, just that, I think. No, no. I'm going to do the whole background. All right, sorry. Y'all know I didn't, I didn't. I didn't plan this card out. We are crafting on the fly tonight. Let's see, that's four, and that's five. A bit too small. Okay, fine, I'll just cut a new piece. Heavens to Murgatroy. Oh, stamping up papers. Hold on. All right, so we're just, we're just going to cut a piece because I don't have one. All right, so we're going to go. That one was five and a quarter by four. So we're going to go five and... Hmm. If I go five, five and a half is the, okay, okay. So I'm going five and this, this little line, whatever that is. Let's see what that is. It's five and one, two, three eighths. Five and three eighths. Don't be impressed. I have no idea what I'm doing. By four. We know we don't want to go to four and a quarter because that's the size of our um, base. Okay, so heaven only knows if this will fit. Make it so it would fit the paper you made. You're as smart as a sweet pickle. Oh, look, y'all. Look, look. I'm being as smart as a sweet pickle, I'll tell you the truth. Okay, y'all, it works. It works. Yes, thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Marilyn. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. We are going to... Oh, you know what I was doing? I was going to put the black under this, y'all. All right. Guess what? We we're going we're going to do something different. We're going to put that there. We I'm going to go ahead and I'm I'm gluing it down, y'all. I'm just because we are winging this whole operation. Oh, I want to tell y'all. Okay, I did I did a comparison, all right? This is the old snail adhesive which I love, okay? Tombow makes it and I still buy it, but Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it anymore. And I, I can't I can't advise y'all to go get this because th there's no such thing as snail adhesive anymore. But I did buy a bunch before it retired. Well, Dollar Tree had their version of the tape runner. So I did a test. And this, this is worth not even a dollar. Okay? So I'm just saying. Don't use it on your cards. It's great for temporary placement, but you sure don't want to use it uh, for anything permanent on your card. All right, I'm, I'm getting a little out of hand here. Hold on. 
And I was going to tell y'all other stuff, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, okay, so I'm going to just put this, I'm use this corner, put this just a thin, we just want a thin line there, right? And by the way, if you're watching and hadn't said, hey, hey, let me know you're here. Oh, whack. And then we're going to go. Whack. That, I just, I just visualized. I mean, just did it visual. I, th I think it's right. I think it'll work. Okay. Whew, doggies. Okay, that goes there. We are going to put this like this, I think. I think, I think. Let's see. We're going to have that there. We're going to put the, ooh. If we put it in the middle and make it a landscape, y'all, I like that. What do y'all think? I like that. I would never have used black, but with that, it, see, I, I know, right, Angela? I've never, I never thought that, but I watched this, um, this, demonstrator and she puts black under everything and um actually she's not stamping up but she she's a card maker i should say she puts black under everything and i mean it was it was amazing how it just made things pop dana <laughs> I, hey girl it's not over <laughs> it ain't over till it's over dana says i'm good at this and I'm like, mm -mm, you just hang, hang on, stay tuned, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to make a landscape card. We didn't know that, but now we do. I could pop it up, but I actually, I actually want to send this in the mail. And I don't know, sometimes I think I need to put $500 worth of stamps on it when I'm sending it by the mail. We're going to put it up like this. I think we'll pop up our, our sentiment. Look at, oh, y'all, I love this paper. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And we are going to use this for the envelope. I'm just going to get my envelope right now. Y'all, it's getting dark out here. Okay, let's see. Let's, oh my goodness, y'all, look at this. It even kind of curves. Kind of, kind of. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to make our envelope. I'm using the liquid glue. Uh-oh. I'm using the liquid glue because um, things get crazy in the mail, y'all. They get crazy. So I'm just going to put it on the whole flap here of this envelope. Now, y'all know I usually don't do envelopes on my lives. And to be honest, I don't always think about doing envelopes, period. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm just going to kind of smooth it around a little bit. And let's see, put it on like this and bend it over and make sure um, thank you, Nyoka. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, the black does make it pop. And I do, I do too now. I do too. All right, so I just stuck that on there. It looks a little crazy. It's not going in the mail like that, y'all. We are going, boop, we are going to trim it. Oh, y'all, I have tea. I have, Ninja Man made me a thing of tea. Um, because my other drink ran out and it needed to. Okay. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Here we go. Boop, boop. All right. Y'all, all I'm going to do, I'm not even looking at the print I'm, because I kind of know where it is. It's it's right there where it needs to be, right? Okay, and we're just cutting just along the shape of the flap of the envelope. All right, here we go. Here we go. Y'all, this is going to be the such a festive and fun. Angela, I just said festive. <laughs> Will I ever say festive and not think of Angela? Oh my gosh. Gloria, does your Facebook page accept pictures? Ooh, I don't know. Gloria, try it and see. Try it and see. And if it doesn't, then send it to me and I'll get it on there. Heck yeah. That would be cool. Y'all, look at the little flap. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Okay, and hey, if I wanted to, I could just come right here and go boop, boop, boop with some purple if I wanted to, which I think I do. Hang on, hang on. We'll just do it real quick. I promise it's not going to take about a minute. Which, oh, but what did I use? I don't even know. Um, was it that? I think it was this. Um, nope. 
Oh, y'all. Oh, 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 it was this. Okay, I know what it was. And we got the little one. Boop. Okay, we're just festive. <laughs> Angela, I know, I know. I want to make envelopes. One thing that I love, okay, about this technique is you don't have to have all the things. Thank you, Lisa. You don't have to have all the things, y'all. You can, oh, we went two, didn't we? See, I almost messed up. One, two. Um, because look, you can make your own designer series paper. Now, y'all, do not miss my videos toward the fall. Because I'm telling you what, when I do my, um, my fall videos with the leaves, oh, oh, it, if you haven't seen them before, it's a thing. And I'm not saying like I'm great. I'm just saying the technique is great. Okay, okay, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so I just added some purple. I know, I could have put yellow there, but I didn't want to take more time than that. Okay, so there we go. And one of the things I did when I decided literally live tonight on what papers, I mean, what colors to use, I just thought of 70s because I wanted, as Courtney said, that 70s vibe, okay? That's what that's what I wanted. No, I have no idea. There they are. That's what I wanted to do. And dang, Skippy, it worked, right? Okay. Oh, I want to show y'all a special card, too, that I made. Hold on. Well, we're going to finish this first. Um, let's see. We need, we need a thank you. Uh, I'm going to say you're amazing because I can say thank you on the inside, right? You're, let's see, you are amazing. This is for a special friend that Barbara and I know. Barbara and I know this special friend who was very thoughtful. And uh, here we go. Here we go. You are amazing because she is and I love her to death. Okay. Um, let's see what color we want to do this in. We're going to have a black. We're going to put a maybe a black piece here. Maybe. 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 No. All right. All right. Um, white. Here's me some white. Look, I had used this with my, um, with my, making my designer series paper. Y'all, Stampin' Up's card is so, so thick. Um, the dies have a cute tag. Yes, they do. Look a there. Look a there. Okay. All right. There we go. And you know what? It fits. It fits, Lisa. Of course. Well, I mean, they're, they're related. So, okay. That solved that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do something. We're going to stamp that in. I think we're going to do this in the... Let's see, Dana. I love your ideas. I go downstairs, stamp, then can't get any ideas. Complete blank. And then everything looks like... Oh, I understand. Believe me. So many times I come in my studio. Hey, Virginia. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. Um, yeah, I, I get it. I get it, Dana. And you know what? One of the things that is my go-to, um, y'all know I case a lot of cards, which means when I'm, uh, when I am getting ready to make a card, I get my ideas from people who have already made cards, right? Except for tonight. I mean, we're just winging it over here. Um, I love this and I'm going to show you something special on this. Um, but yeah, so so, Dana, put in, go to Pinterest and put in your stamp name, okay? Now, y'all know this is uh, washi tape. So, I'm going to rub it on my shirt. You can see in the little circle there, I'm rubbing it on my shirt to get some of the tackiness off. And um, there we go, okay? And I just don't want it sticking really hard to my uh, cardstock. We're going to use the the baby stamp and cut and emboss machine. Put this over here. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, y'all. And we are going to let's see. Is this Oh, y'all know y'all know I had to put this on there, right? It's got the measurements because I'm that I'm that person. I will forget first of all that I own this. Secondly, <laughs> how big of a die can go through there. And some of the dies are kind of close. So, you know, I'm not sure. 
Okay, and basically here's here's what I do. Okay, I've got to die cut. Here it is, die cut. I use plates one, two, and two. All right, and this is plates one, two, and two. Y'all see the numbers on them? One, two, and two. Okay, all right. So that's how I know which plates to use. Um, because on this one, it's just a new machine, it's a new size, it's a new, everything about it is different. Well, not really, not really different, but um, different enough. I'm going through twice because I've never used this die before, and I'm sure once was enough, but I'm doing it twice because I can, okay? Here we go. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Let's see, Michelle, I get a lot of ideas from Pinterest. Yes, and Lisa, thank you for the reminder. I'm very happy to use this little tag, y'all. And I could, and I might, I probably will come back and punch out some uh, flowers. And I'm going to show y'all real quick a reminder of those dies. Look at the, not the, not the zigzaggy um, stuff, but these flowers here, are they not just the cutest things? And I can do them in the same colors. It's just exciting, y'all. I love to create. And, I mean, this this happens to be going well. Don't be impressed. Oh, wait, wait. I needed to cut out the black so I could show y'all something cool. Um, don't be impressed because I, I am totally winging it. But we... And this is just a bag I got from 31 back in the day. It um, It's cute as a button. It's got a little pocket here and a little pocket... I, but they don't have that print anymore. I don't even know if they're selling those anymore. Okay, just got to show y'all how to do a background on your tag. Okay, um, we're going to take this tag back out right here. Boop. Thanks to Lisa reminding me that there's a tag. See, this is too wide, so I know I can cut it down to just at three and a half or just under. Okay, so I'll probably go just under. There we go. And do I make a mess? Oh, heck yeah, I make a mess. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just putting it here on my black. I'm going to bring these guys out because for some reason, I don't know about everybody, but on mine, it has to overlap a little bit to get, to get it to feed. Okay, there we go. I always overlap my top plate and just kind of scooch it, you know, a little bit over and it feeds right through. But if I don't, it's like, wait a minute, that's too big a bite for me. That's what it says. Okay, come on now. Come on. Okay, we're going to put this up once again and we're almost done, y'all. Hang with me just a minute. I want y'all to see this finished. Sorry if that was loud. I know it was. But it's not as loud as my sneeze when we first started. <laughs> okay. Also, um, yes, there's no such thing as neat, neat crafter. You should see this desk. Well, you really shouldn't. But anyway, um, I write on here in bloom stamps. Okay. I just wrote that on there on tape. Peels right off. And then on the stamp set, I wrote Pierce Bloom's dies. Because Stampin' Up! has yet to do it my way. My way is name them the same dang thing and stop with all this fancy stuff. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to cut this. Whoa. Okay. And we are going to put it behind it just, just a wee bit. Right? I don't know if y'all can hear my husband in there, but I'm, I, I'm telling you. He's making man noises. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little a little of the glue there. There is a right side and a wrong side to your cutouts, okay? Can you see how, mm, I don't know if you can or not with the black, but you can definitely see it on the white, how the piercings look just right. And on the back, they're a little pushed out, kind of. Let me see. There we go. So there's a right side and a wrong side when you're doing die cuts. Okay, so I put a little glue on there, and I'm just, now you can go, 
You can go left to right with this. You could have cut it this way and gone that way. But I wanted it to kind of be up in there. Oh, y'all, I'm, I'm loving this card. I am loving this card. Put a little glue right there. Make sure I'm on the correct side. I am. And there's a whole lot of love in this card. And, and there's thunder, y'all. I just heard my mama used to say, it cometh thunder. She was not country at all. She just liked to say it cometh thunder. Okay. All right, so we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're just going to put them like this. Um, my friends in Savannah, um, my friends in Savannah are experiencing the low pressure stuff that comes before a hurricane. And man, I just hope and pray they don't, they don't get, uh, they don't get hit by that. Okay, I'm eyeballing this to get it in the middle. I mean, here we created our designer series paper. We created the background from this tag by cutting it in half. And there you go, like that, okay? Okay, if you want to get it exactly in the middle, right? And you want to measure, so this is five and a half. So two and three quarters, I think. So, y'all, I'm literally one sixteenth off. Um, Gloria, it's according to one of my friends, it became a it became a hurricane and then became a tropical storm. And now it's trying to turn itself into a hurricane again. And I can hear Ninja Man went out on the front porch. And um, and I know, I know, y'all, he's he's listening to it come in. It is a big rain right now. Teresa, y'all ought to get it in a minute. Um, yeah, so there we go. And I'll go over it real quick. We used Melon Mambo here and we uh, stamped off with our Melon Mambo to make the pink flowers. We stamped directly from the Melon Mambo to, to the flower to make the darker center. We used, uh, let's see, Mango Melody for the yellow. And again, we stamped off and on, and then just the direct from the ink pad on to make the center. Thank you, Heidi. Um, and then we just stamped black, okay? And then the green was the granny apple green with the old olive uh, stem, and it was, we did not stamp off, okay? This, this is all we stamped off. And the uh, purple, I think, is Highland, no, it's gorgeous grape, gorgeous grape, Stamped off twice, and then, and then stamped one time here. Okay, and y'all, I love this. Now, what I would do to make this card a little bit more, if I wanted to, which I might still, is cut out some of these guys in in the colors that I used. Okay, and maybe put put one up here. I don't know. I, don't, I might play with it, but I'll definitely. If I were to make this card again, I would come in here with a with an embossing folder and emboss this background. But I loved it. I loved, I just love making my own designer series paper. I love these flowers. I love the 70s vibe. I just clearly I enjoy the card. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So if you want to make this card, you're uh you'll need the in bloom stamps. And if you, if you want to make, you know, make it a set, you'll need the Pierce Blooms dies. And thank you, Heidi. And um, feel free to wing it. But hey, if you get a stamp set, like um, Michelle and I were talking, I think it's Michelle. Uh, let me see. Wait, it wasn't Michelle either. It was Dana. Yes, Dana. What we were talking about was if you've got a stamp set, you just go on Pinterest and, and put in the name of that stamp set. Um, if it's super common, then you want to put in the word Stampin' Up as well. And you're going to get tons of ideas, y'all. And there's no shame in that. Okay? No shame in that. So thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I am going to be the uh, a guest on the Dollar Tree Crafting tomorrow, which y'all can't see because it's a private group. However, 
I'll be using this software so I will be able to record it, edit it, and put it on my um, on my YouTube channel. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, jump in there so you don't miss anything, okay? Thanks so much, y'all. God bless, and y'all have a terrific evening. Toodles!